uh, just and I will recall like what we did last class, the few minutes, we don't want to spend too much on that. You know that we have created a company, company code. We have created um, two plans and um, company code is 5710. That's what we created and the plant also 5710. And we have created several storage locations, but among we have chosen two storage locations. One is a 57, uh, I think is a 571D and 57. 571D for receiving on dock and the 571 sales available for sale. And we have mapped to the dummy warehouse. That's all we did. And also we have created a EWM warehouse number. Uh, that is a four digit number. This is three digit. This one is dummy is a 571. You know that. This one is a 5710. We have also copied uh, some best practice system is 1710 to our warehouse. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Okay, that's all we have did last time. And what we, we, we didn't start like, you know, the supply chain in it, we didn't start them custodian and default party entire data. That's what um, we didn't do that. Okay, because as I said, it's just a warehouse, you know, is nothing because it's, it's an, uh, there is no address for the warehouse. Unless we assign supply chain in it to the warehouse, they no need to give the address for that. That address means like a geographical location. That is called geographical, val you can say physical validation of the warehouse, okay? And we will go through how to create a supply chain in it and a business partner and so on. So once we do uh, supply chain it business partner, I mean, as a custodian, as a default party and title, then we will move into the um, configuration settings in. Um, uh, ERP and also configure settings in EWM. So how we can map uh, uh, like, you know, from S4 system to EWM system. Okay, uh, that is what we are going to, to discuss today. Okay. First, uh, I will uh, make sure the supply chain at BP is created so that, you know, uh, we can move into next um, like configuration settings. We'll jump into a SAP system. Hope we can see my SAP system. You can see transaction if you need what I'm doing here. So just two minutes, uh, we'll walk through that, you know. You know, the enterprise structure under that we have defined all this uh, um, company and as well as we have defined uh, all the um, um, plant and also we have defined uh, sales and distribution related stuff. We have also defined uh, material management in a storage locations and uh, we also defined a dummy warehouse and the shipping point. So once we defined this one, we have assigned, we have did for assignment, right? And uh, company code to company and um, and also like plant to company code and then okay under the sale um, under the sales we have assigned sales or company code we have we did all these configurations and also under logistic execution we assigned uh, our dummy warehouse to this one okay say for example 571057 and we have chosen uh, two uh, two storage locations one 57d1 maybe though we have several uh, under our plant 5710, though we have a several uh, several locations, but we have chosen as of now two. One is five receiving and dock and available for sale. Even if you want, we can go for even returns also, but always we can extend even returns if you want it. Okay. In case any return delivery, say you want to make it specific storage location, then you even certainly you can add 571 uh, returns also here. Okay. But uh, at the moment, we don't want to do, but we are just focusing on total storage locations. Okay. And also we know that is assigned shipping point we did for this one. And uh, that's what we did for shipping point. Okay. So we can always check our uh, shipping point 571, 57 SP. So our, uh, so our 
under our plan 5710 our shipping points okay this is what we did also we moved into our um, main node is the scm extended warehouse management under that we have created uh, uh, ma under the master data we have just we defined our warehouse number uh, our warehouse number is 5710 uh, this is what we created maybe we can say that uh, 5710 okay is the card. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on the bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP video. Yeah, that's right. Okay, this is what we have created. And also, what we did is uh, we didn't assign the number uh, because our warehouse 5710. Okay, so we have not created anything because if I said new entries, then you are going to uh, system is asking, okay, these are the prerequisite if I want to. I define uh, my uh, like you know if I want to create my warehouse number. So I need it's asking supply chain in it and the custodian default party entitled and a default ship. Okay, and as I said, like supply chain in it uh, is a is a is a physical validation location or you can say geographical location. Under the supply chain in it, you will assign to the warehouse, so it gives you complete uh, address for the warehouse. And also supply without supply chain in it, you cannot process any deliveries. Okay, is a supply chain in it is a mandatory if you want to process any deliveries between ERP to EWM system. Okay, and also supply chain in it, it gives the address for the even um, receiving the goods uh, and uh, issuing the goods even for the door uh, for the warehouse. Okay, it gives some uh, say address for that. It gives some uh, representation for the warehouse. Okay, if you don't have supply chain it, you cannot do anything. Okay, and also what do you mean by custodian? Okay, custodian means is like, you know, you know that any plant, uh, somebody should be their owner. Maybe uh, maybe you are, you, are, you are assigned for the, that particular role as a custodian. Maybe you will take care that uh, as a owner of the um, plant or owner of the warehouse. It uh, depends whether it is this, um, Warehouse is managed by the uh, plant, or like you know, this warehouse is managed by the third party, maybe even third party also. Uh, depends on how this warehouse is managed. If is a warehouse is managed by the plant, then the custodian custodian is the uh, is a um, is a plant based uh, vendor. Okay, that is the custodian who look after the business, like you know, he he will receive the goods and he sells the goods that is called custodian okay and even default party entitled is a more or less is also like is a owner and sometime custodian will be different and the default party entitled may be different so what in sap you know sap has given an option like that instead of creating supplied custodian default party entitled so can we create a, a together as a business partner you know that any person, if you want to create in a, in a S4 system, if you want to define anybody, you should create as a BP. Even if a vendor, I want to create a vendor, you should create as a business partner. Even as a person, employee, even banker, or any individual, if you want to create any individual, you should, you should create as a business partner. Under the business partner, you can always distinguish whether it is a supplier or customer or a custodian, or so on so okay because we have a several roles i don't know how many people are good in the business partner but i will go through how to create a business partner and uh, if you need some configuration setting i can go through that but uh, just understand that if you want to create any person any individual we have to create as a business partner okay and a default to ship to party and this one is like, you know, for example, you want to uh, send somebody, for example, you have a one plant, you want to send it to the other plant, then you can always give a uh, ship to party. Okay, you can define this one, but we don't need at the moment, but custodian default party entitled is a very important. As I said, both we can create as a one business partner, we can assign it this one, instead of creating custodian separate default party entitled. Okay. Okay. Let's create a one supply chain. It 
for this faster okay to create a supply chain in it you can use a um, slasen and uh, means new screen and the sewm any transaction which starts with our ewm is the sewm sorry scmb scmb and uh, scu main if you want to create a supply chain in it this is a transaction we need to use it even it, it can go even here also if you go back here and uh, so, we, so you can always see the some um, settings you know master data everything you can get some transaction if you want it okay don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap video yes you mean sorry yes mb yes you mean to create a supply chain in it okay see as a best practice as you know you can always uh, use our supply chain in it underscore um include your, our warehouse number this way is easy okay use a supply chain the seu as a short term underscore and our our what is our warehouse number 5710 this is what you can do that okay under we have a several types we have okay how you want to define your warehouse okay whether you want to define your warehouse as a production plant distribution center or like you know warehouse or so on so we have several options so so since we is a warehouse i need to select type is the 108 okay you can see if you put a display it says that you have not created anything so always you know i can create a uh, supply